Now, Jesus taught the same order for his second coming again in what's called the parable of the dragnet. Let me read to you from Matthew 13, verse 47. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net that was cast into the sea and gathered of every kind, which when it was full they drew to shore and sat down and gathered the good into vessels but cast the bad away. Now here Jesus gives the application of that parable to his second coming. So shall it be at the end of the age. The angels shall come forth and sever the wicked from among the just. The angels are going to, in essence, cut off the wicked, remove them from among the, the just, the righteous, and shall cast them into the furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Notice the same order for his glorious second coming immediately after the end of the seven-year tribulation period. His holy angels will remove all the unbelievers who are alive on the earth at that time from the earth in judgment and put them into a horrible place of judgment characterized by fire where there will be wailing and gnashing of teeth. But the good fish, representing the believers, are left here uh, to go into the kingdom. He's teaching that the order of things at his second coming will be just the reverse of the order at the rapture. At the rapture, it's all the believers who are removed from the earth in blessing to meet Christ in the air, return with him to his Father's house in heaven. And it's the unbelievers who will be left here on the face of the earth. 